There was everything to play for on the fourth day of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, with time running out to impress the SA School's selectors. Gauteng faced an unbeaten Northwest team on the glorious Tux Oval. A 139-run stand between Joan Landsberg and Sebastian Green was followed by a fluent 41 of 21 balls by Ndomiso Mvalase as Gauteng posted a formidable 233 for 9. Northwest Chase never got going with only captain Ruan Hasbrook standing tall with his unbeaten 59. Wickets fell all around him and eventually his side succumbed to a total of 124 as Gauteng booked a spot in Sunday's main game. No, definitely. I think us also winning the tournament last year means a lot to us and uh, defending that title is obviously a big thing. So I think uh, we're just going to have to graft hard, sleep early and hopefully come out top tomorrow. Northerns were in a spot of bother at 83 for 5 in their match against Eastern Province. Things could have been worse as Rivaldo Moon Sammy was put down twice before reaching 10. However, the Northerns keeper rode his luck and belted the EP bowlers to all corners of the ground to register a superb century. Chasing 276 was never going to be easy and EP struggled throughout, losing regular wickets as Northerns bowled them out for 155. Only Matthew Bretzky's 57 stood out as Northerns won comfortably on the Duckworth Lewis method. Yeah, um, yeah, Oaks were coming hard at me because, okay, yeah, I wasn't looking that great, but I actually stayed in and, yeah, got through to 100. Andile Petlukwaya led the charge with the bat for KZN Coastal, notching up 45 before border paceman Setembile Langa removed the danger man. Border were under the pump early in their run chase as Bradley Wheel ran through the top order, picking up four quick wickets. Border never really recovered. KZN Coastal winning by 131 runs. Oh yeah, for sure. Been quite soft in the f uh, first couple of days with a bit of rain and whatever. And then today, just a bit of a harder deck, getting, getting the ball through nicely, getting a couple of nicks, so it was, it was good. Matthew Christensen and Kyle Varane added to their run tallies this week as Western Province took on Boerland. A flurry of wickets at the end restricted Province to 242 all out. Boerland started strongly and were ahead of the required rate when the teams came off with lightning in the area. A revised total meant a tense finish, but Sean Denecker smashed a six off the last ball of the penultimate over. With two runs needed off the final over and four wickets in hand, up stepped Dayan Khalim. The pace bowler removed Luke Philander and then bowled Reynard Fortain. Denecker was run out with the final delivery as Khalim incredibly produced a triple wicket maiden to give his side a one-run victory. Yes, I mean, we needed something to spark us and uh, now the belief, the belief is there. So I think each and everyone believes in each other, back each other all the way. So hopefully that uh, goes into tomorrow's game. There were four other matches that took place on day four. KZN Inland showed their class to dismiss Namibia for just 64 and knock the runs off quickly. Easton's defeated Free State thanks in part to Messios Duckworth and Lewis. Dean Carlisle starred with the bat in Mpumalanga's victory over SWD. Griquas fell agonisingly 11 runs short in their run chase against Limpopo. We've already seen some incredible cricket, but day five offers the excitement of the unofficial final and the all-important SA Schools team announcement. Yes!